Hi guys, welcome back, another day. Um, we've hit a bit of a problem today. The front door on the house has broke. The, um, the latches have smashed inside and I'm waiting for an engineer to come out. Problem is I can't shut the door and lock it and constantly go in and out with that problem. So I don't know what, what of a video I'm going to be able to give you today, I'm afraid, because um, lack of access into the house. So what I am going to try and do is get that piece of ply fitted today. Um, and I will shoot down to the DIY store, I might take the camera for that, get some uh, battens for the roof, yeah, and uh, I think that's all you're going to get, probably about five minutes if you're lucky, because I've got to wait for that engineer to turn up and he could be here any time between now and nine o'clock tonight. As um, soon as he's been, I can shut the door properly and uh, carry on doing what we're doing. But yeah, this this panel has actually come out quite good. I mean, we have as I keep saying, we've got open grain everywhere, and there's just not a lot I can do about that unless I hand brush it. If I was to hand brush that, that would go. But because I sprayed it, it hasn't fallen into the grooves like a brush would do. Um, I didn't want runs and lines everywhere with a brush. I mean, it is possible to achieve it with normal varnish, but I'm not using normal varnish because I'm not blinking normal as you probably well established with this build so uh, we'll try and get this bottom plate put in place and uh, go from there really and see where the day takes us do apologize it's too proud This one's gonna be because this was a bit of a ship bag oh hang on. Um, oh, got to do something. Oh. What are you looking for? Thank you. 
You want me to lean against it? No, no. I've got it, don't worry. Um, where's that box of screws gone? Up there. Oh, we deliberately made holes, that hole bigger. Wowed in the way there. Where you got a cut off? No, I've got a screw. Yeah. These are all going to be hidden with a piece of trim anyway, so I ain't particularly too worried about them, but it would be nice to get them neat. Another one, which will be. Oh, hell well, I'll just do it. Can I just put that out? Oh, that's the larger ones. I don't know where you put it. Missed a hole, didn't you? No. Mm. Oh, sorry, I thought you missed a hole. We're putting the cover plate over here, and having that steel there gives me a good solid foundation for the steps that I've got to go in. Probably going to run a hinge here, drop the board down, and have the platform there, which I think would be about right. So from here to there, do you want to take a walk back? So the platform from here. So there should give you enough leg room to be able to hook your bum on here and put your feet and then steps down. But when that slide out comes in, it comes mm -hmm. into there. And I measured last night while he was in bed, uh -huh. the shower tray yep. will bring up to about there. So you've only got that gap to climb in when that is shut. So that shower tray might be too big, too big then? No, I don't think so. There's no point having a shower tray that's so small you can't have a shower in it no point to it. So, pour my breath. Smile for the camera, honey. Hello. What was that? Hello. <laughs> I'll leave you.
me alone. Stop picking on me today. <laughs> I'm not picking on you. You better not, eh? <laughs> You're making me laugh, that's all. Oh, well, look, all right, all right, all right. Okay, come down. Sorry, am I patronising you? Yes, you are patronising. I apologise. We've got to router out that hole um, a lot better than what it is. It was roughly cut because I needed a bit more meat on this panel up here because I was worried about it snapping. We've got a cover plate to put over the top of the steel eventually. And that is the end result of staining and uh, lacquering. I am quite happy with it and one of the best features of the grain is in full view which is that knot there which I'm pleased about. Um, the ones at the top on the top side you won't see them because the cupboards will be in the way. So next on our list of to do's is fixing some beams up for battens. Um, but I have to go and get the wood first before I go any further with it. Still waiting for the cancel. Oh, wish they'd hurry up. While I'm waiting, just put the last coat of lacquer on. I'm going to call this slime from now on. A little bit of dust. I thought I got rid of it all. I missed a couple of bits. That's one. Two. So all that rubbing down, sanding, lacquering, sanding, that's paid off. Almost as smooth as as smooth can be <laughs> but we'll save the best to last now remember the top there you go a couple of little dust specks but I think I've gained those while I sat out here drying I don't think I got those when I was painting coming off that blasted roof the wind but I can't move it's too heavy um, so there you go, that's now ready, I ain't doing no more to it, that's it, done. Um, we'll remove that door, we'll take the the dryer unit, um, the fan out at some point and then that will lighten that up. We'll get the bulkheads in, when we've got the bulkheads in we'll offer this in place. I've just got a little bit more sanding to do, uh, I've got to take that lip off there, possibly. That sticks out a bit too far that. Um, and then once that's up and in place, we'll lacquer up some trim and run some trim in there with some screws and then we'll line all of that with plywood. That'll be for the cutlery. Um, this is the fan, as you know, and it is currently upside down. So let me just turn the camera the other way up. There you go. So, moving on. Ordered some glue for you, Sue, so we can do some more wallpaper. And the only problem is, I don't know if we're going to do any more wallpaper. Why not? <clears throat> well, because I don't really know where to put any, apart from that little slide out. Right. I know viewers love unboxings. Oh, you hate! <laughs> do you have to do that? Oh, oh, you know I don't want to make you jump. Will you cut it in? Do you have to make the dog start too? Sorry. Oh. Oi, shut up. I was having a de stress moment. You done with my bubbles? I can't run with my arms and you can't pop them anymore. Jump, you there you go. We'll what mix a that. size of that? We'll uh, mix that with water and um, paste that onto some of the woodwork that we've got of wallpaper up. But I am going to have to buy some more lacquer because I've just used the last of the lacquer doing that kitchen unit. So, there you go. Have you bubbled? Okay, we're done then. I don't mind admitting today we're struggling. Fatigue. I don't know about you, woman. Are you tired? I know I am. Yeah. Yeah. This this truck is wearing us out. Massively wearing us out. 
We've been waiting for the builder to turn up to get that front door sorted out, but he ain't turned up yet. So I can't go out. I can't leave her and the dogs alone in the house in case he turns up and all hell breaks loose with the animals. Here's cut some battens, which I know will fit. Screw them on. Each rib, it will get done. And then we'll cut out a big piece of ply that I've got lying in here. We'll make, we'll put it up, but we'll put it up temporary. And then we've got to um, put a thin piece of ply down here. I've also got to remove these screws and try and remember where the holes are. <coughs> and um, screw the ply onto that. And then when I put the top piece of ply over the top, if I can still find the screw holes, I've then got to screw straight through that bit of ply. These screws hold the wooden seal on the outside. That seal isn't glued in because I would quite happily drill a new set of holes and that would be the end of it. And I need to be able to access that in case it starts to rot. And we don't want to be ripping walls off just to get to a piece of wood that happens to be on the outside. So Why can't you get your phone and photograph where they are now? No, I've got to you... measure them. Oh, right. I've got to measure them and write down the distances from wherever I measure from, which will be from this edge here. Okay. So it'll be the first one, second one, third one, fourth one. I think they are in a precise area lengthways, but they're not lot. See, I don't measure that well. I just look and drill and screw them. I'm a bit lazy. I don't mind admitting I'm a bit lazy. That That's amateurish of me, but there's so much to do. I just, just want to get it done. So I cut corners. I cut a lot of corners. Twenty-two. I want three of these at twenty-two. Half the other trouble is, is this wood is treated. And it's still wet. I thought I had leaks on the roof up there, and it turns out it was the wood um, leaning up against the ply. was causing the problems with damp. So I've counted the board. My rivets won't fit that full width. What? I'm not sure I get yeah, it. Yeah, well, it will focus itself. Right. Um. I don't know what I can do then, that knackered bit, where is it, what do I do with it, the old floor that I ripped out, this bit, I'll put that on the table saw, and I'll bring that out a little further, and then with an off cut, I'll run it down here, right down to the bottom, and make a cover for that area there, that's what I'll do, mm -hmm. and then we'll feed a wire through for the light switch, which is the these ones, um, 12 volt, so we'll feed that through and then the light switch can go in there when we get closer to wiring up. What the heck am I going to do with these, because these should have gone behind here, but I knew I weren't going to fit them so I didn't bother, I knew they weren't going to happen, so I reckon I'm going to have to go up and run them through the locker, at the base of the locker, and then figure the rest out as we go along really. Can't you get those cases or something where you put wire in to hide? Yeah, ch uh, channel, yeah, you can. Yeah. I just don't like them. I mean, I don't mind using them on the control panel. No. But on this, no. Mm. Right, drill bit. I don't know where you put the drill bit. It might be up there. Is it on the, Is it on the end? No? Be careful because I could 
make sure the fiberglass doing that. Right, rivet gun. I'm for me, me lazy. It is in here. First one up. What's this one for? Socket. I should have gone under there. The drill bit I had. See what I mean? The wood's wet, so it's clogging. But why is it? Because it was treated wood. It's all I could find that I thought was the right dimensions. Any problem is, is it isn't the right dimensions. Five mil too thick. And because the wood's wet, when I put it through the table saw, the table saw protests because it isn't industrial. Mm -hmm. I had an industrial one. Sold it. I wish that hadn't been. Must be right blooming handy like this minute. But we never intended to build another motorhome. Three. Nope. And I now can't get it back. The bloke won't answer the, the phone when I rang him. Totally ignored me, so. Don't worry. Pause it. I have no idea if this is actually on. Uh, 
point the camera somewhere else because I don't want her seeing that thing that she's on. I'll pause. If I can't find it, yep. I'll have to fire a compressor up and get the pneumatic one because we've got loads to do on the roof. Loads. So we're going to go. We lost light. I can't see what I'm doing that well. Um, so we're going to move on. So for me, goodbye. And for me, bye too. <laughs> so uh, thanks for your likes, by the way. And Please share the hell out of everything and comments. I love comments. We don't seem to be getting a lot of them. Um, the people that have commented, thanks. I appreciate it because that way I know, apart from the like buttons being pressed and now you're watching, I'm getting very controversial on here because somebody's put two thumbs downs on one of my other videos. So, yeah, I, I suppose I am now part of the YouTube family because I'm getting dislikes as well as likes. I think that's funny. I used to be very sensitive to that, but not anymore. I'm not. You, you do what you want to do. Anyway, thank you guys. See you later. Okay. Bye.